Silver Sneakers has improved the health and well-being of millions of older adults since it was founded 31 years ago. Today, there are more options than ever before to promote fitness and friendship for the 50-plus crowd. Michael Schlesinger highlights a program using dance, including ballet, to get to the point of healthy and happy living. PK, fall. Pick, pick. Excellent. Melissa Anderson loves giving dance directives. And if you take her ballet class either Monday or Wednesday mornings at DanceWorks MKE, chances are... Down, up, down, balance. You'll hear many of them. It's my resting place. It's my happy place. The studio is my happy place. But in these groups, the joy is shared by her students as well. All of them just happen to be older than 50. Susan Honeycutt is 63. With all the ups and downs of life and living on my own the last few years, it's wonderful to move with others and community. It's wonderful. Alex Ang is five years older than Susan, but he's a newbie when it comes to ballet dancing. He's only been doing this since last fall. He tells me he's in it for several reasons, the main one being health. Balance and posture, um, as well as strength. The goal is actually to teach the ballet technique, and that's kind of paring away the style and also paring away all the harmful things that ballet doesn't need to carry along with it. So I like to teach a kinder, gentler ballet. I like to say ballet with all the drama, but not the trauma. So what good habits does this instructor teach? The back of the shoulders, the lift of the chin, the lining up of the head with the spine, all of these things that we don't do anymore. All right, texting, driving, computer. And with enough work, you might just get the leg up on others who don't have the stamina you do. Yeah. Look at that, that's how you do it. <laughs> right there, that's it, that's it. We'll still slip and fall, but we're gonna know how to fall. We'll still feel it on the ice, but we're gonna catch our balance probably better than the person who isn't trying to balance on one leg. Putting your body through the paces, it will deliver. If you don't ask it to do it, it won't do it. You sit on the couch, you get better at sitting on the couch. Anderson says it's crucial, especially with age. You work through your pain, don't cave. A lot of times we avoid physicality because I hurt. Why would I want to go do more? But it's a reverse, you know, that you hurt, so you should get up and get moving. Get those muscles supporting the joints so that they're not resting on each other, that kind of thing. What Natalie Lloyd-Jones likes to rest on a lot of times is the ballet bar. It helps keep this 82-year-old steady on her feet. It's more of a mental thing. You say one leg, and I say, ooh, no, I'm going to tip. She wouldn't tell me exactly how long she's been putting on her dancing shoes, but she says it's been a long time. I just don't think about it. I just do. What she and her other classmates do think about all this is how lucky they all are. The people in the class, they are energetic. They are doing, and we all like each other. There is a wide variety of people in these classes. I feel like I've kind of, um, you know, made some friends. Or I know some new people because of this. If ballet isn't your thing, you might want to consider tapping into, well, Tapping. Amy Brinkman Sustashi is both the education director and tap instructor at DanceWorks. Anybody who wants to dance can dance. Every dance, every form of dance, every uh, ability level, age. Yours truly is 55, so I thought I'd take the step and learn all the steps. Shim shamming. Shim shamming. Yep. One, two, one, two, three. Shuffle step. Shuffle step, shuffle ball chain, shuffle step. If I say shuffle step, shuffle step, you're gonna make it sound just like that. You know what I mean? So you really get that, that, that instant feedback from your feet and then you can tell, oh, that wasn't very good because it didn't sound the way I said it. Amy says her studio, entering its 30th year, has offered 50-plus initiative programs for a few decades now. There was even grant funding from the National Endowment of the Arts at one point. Now, close to 60 people take advantage of what's offered to them, and they won't stop coming either. Forever. <laughs> I'm gonna keep coming to ballet. Oh, forever. I love it. I really love it. I love these people, and they're the best example of how to age, how to age gracefully.